What's going on everybody? Brian Fonseca checking in with the 5 Reasons Sports crew, typically doing Miami Heat NBA stuff at this network, but we also get into boxing every now and then because that's one of the sports I cover frequently away from this network that I'm bringing here. A couple weeks ago, if you remember, we made a prize picks entry that hit perfect 3 for 3. I believe it was Deontay Wilder under in his rounds again in his fight against Robert Hellenius. Devin Haney got the over and punches landed against George Cambosos and then Gary Antonio Russell got the under and lost to Emmanuel Rodriguez. So we were a perfect three for three two weeks ago. We're back with another this weekend. And well, there's a couple different cards and not all of them available on Price Picks, but you should still download the Price Picks app. Use the promo code five. They will match your deposit up to, I believe, one hundred dollars. So you should take advantage of that. We're going to make a Price Picks entry right now. We have a few big fights coming up today we have jake paul versus anderson silver we have a city lomachenko versus jermaine ortiz we have some others but those are the main ones here are being featured on prize picks at least as of this recording so we're going to take a look at the app right now and the first thing that catches my eye we're going under is jake paul under 65.5 punches landed now that doesn't mean i think jake paul's gonna lose I am one of these people who thinks like, yeah, I want to see him fight an actual boxer. I will acknowledge that Anderson Silva is a big step up in competition from Tyron Woodley, even from a boxing standpoint, because he's actually boxed before. And he beat Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in boxing, did Anderson Silva last year. The reason why I'm going under in punches landed at 65.5, because this is an eight round fight. Jake Paul, not really a volume puncher. In all of his fights, he's only landed more than 65.5 punches one time, and it was the first Tyron Woodley fight, and Anderson Silva's a better defender than Tyron Woodley. I think that if this fight goes to distance, Anderson Silva wins it. I don't know if it's going to distance, though. I kind of lean Jake Paul by knockout, especially since there was some confusion about Anderson Silva getting knocked out in sparring, and, you know, he ended up getting cleared for this fight, but... The line did move from Jake Paul around minus 170, minus 180 to about minus 260, 265 in some sports books. So you might want to check that out. So we're going to go under in punches. Landed Jake Paul, not a big volume guy. And I do believe that he is probably going to knock out Anderson Silva. But between you and me, I kind of hope Anderson Silva beats his ass. All right, next up. And you got to remember, on price picks, you can't pick two guys that are fighting each other. So I'm giving you three different plays that I like on this card. Two of them will be from the same card. We're going to go to the other one right now. But you cannot play Jake Paul and Anderson Silva against each other on a single entry. You're going to have to separate those two. And you can pair them with anything because Price Picks has everything. MMA, basketball. It has Euro basketball now. I have some suggestions for that, but that's for another video. We're going to go to Anderson Silva now. And we're going to, in the same vein, go under 82.5 punches landed. Again, not sure this fight's going to go to distance. If it does... If you think Anderson Silva wins by decision, he'll probably hit this over because he did get 99 punches landed against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. There's a world where he can knock out Jake Paul as well. I just don't know if Anderson Silva is going to be able to go the distance here. Jake Paul, if nothing else, he hits hard. And Anderson Silva is closer to 50 than Jake Paul is to 30. His punches prop is over or under 82.5. I don't feel great going over about that. Um, but I will say that, you know, now that he's a bigger underdog, it is a little more tantalizing as far as sports books goes. But for the purposes of price picks, no, we're going to take the under there. And the last bet that I like, and this one you could pair with either of the first two I mentioned because this is an entirely different fight. We're going Vasily Lomachenko, fight time under 35.75 minutes against Jermaine Ortiz, which essentially means I think he's going to stop Jermaine Ortiz, win by knockout or TKO in at least before the final 25 seconds of the fight. And the reason why I think that is because while I respect Jermaine Ortiz's skill, he did beat former world champion Jamel Herring in his last fight. He also was knocked down twice to Joseph Adorno last year. Vasily Lomachenko is better. Vasily Lomachenko is going to make a statement, I feel like, because a win here would set up an undisputed championship match with the undisputed lightweight champion Devin Haney at some point next year. Both under top rank umbrella, they can make that happen. And Vasily Lomachenko also is probably going to want to make a statement because this is his first fight back. This is his first fight this year, and this is also his first fight back after fighting on behalf of his country in the Ukraine. He was actually out there 
on the battlefield. There are photos, there's video. ESPN just did a piece on this. Vasily Lomachenko is coming to make a statement, and I think that's bad news for Jermaine Ortiz, who I think is going to lose by knockout. So I'm taking the under in fight time for Vasily Lomachenko under 35.75 minutes. If it goes a full 12, then it's 36 minutes. So I'm basically picking Vasily Lomachenko to win by knockout. That's all we have for today. Remember, use that promo code FIVE and tell them Five Reasons Sports sent you. Peace and enjoy the fights.